If you walk into the Apple Store and say, I'll have the usual. If you get Linux-based humor. Oh, yeah. This the circuit. Word to your motherboard. Hello and welcome to The Circuit, America's most trusted online tech-related news source. I'm Deepak Anantapadmanabha, and if that's a little hard for you, I understand. You can just call me Deepak Kalundalore Anantapadmanabha, or simply Mr. Anantapadmanabha. We go now to today's top tech headlines in a segment we like to call Around the Circuit. From the world of teeny tiny technology, three companies have individually announced that they're releasing Pico projectors. Texas Instruments is working on a cell phone based projector, Genesis Technologies, an iPod dock projector, and Microvision's plug and play projector all aim to dominate the underpowered, irritatingly small portable projector market. All three projectors will also finally allow users to project the face of Natalie Portman on top of their lovers, who unfortunately are not Natalie Portman, even when Natalie Portman was bald. In gamer news, there are semi-substantiated rumors that Skype is coming to Sony's portable gaming device, the PSP. The two foreseeable roadblocks for PSP owners will be getting their friends to buy PSPs and also getting friends. Google, Facebook, Dig, and Plaxo have all joined the Data Portability Project, which is an effort to break down the information barriers between popular websites. By going open source, it'll be possible to pull a Gmail address up on Facebook, share contact information from Plaxo, or stalk anyone anywhere across all social networks. Canadian designer Peter Kroncrack has developed a thermochronic toilet seat, giving you more control over how vividly you want to be reminded of its previous occupant. The seat changes from orange, meaning cool, to red, meaning hot, to calm, gentle blue, meaning herpes. Finally, we move on to the ongoing battle against sleep, where scientists have created a nasal spray that appears to reduce the need for sleep in monkeys. When asked to comment, the monkeys sobbed uncontrollably and attempted to claw out their own eyes. Now, the spray uses a naturally occurring brain hormone called orexin A that allowed exhausted chimps to perform as well as rested monkeys on cognitive tests. Personally, I liked this drug more when it was called cocaine and monkeys were doing it off the backs of other whorish Malaysian monkeys. <laughs> Moving on. Tech news. Thanks, Deepak. I'm outside the Apple Store to cover the recent release of the MacBook Air, which went on sale following the Macworld Expo. Some of its major technical achievements include a customized Intel Core 2 Duo processor crafted 60% smaller than the existing MacBook units, wireless CD drive ghosting, a fully recyclable aluminum case, and an impressive full-size backlit keyboard. It's like the iPhone all over again. That's why I'm here, to interview New Yorkers and find out just how excited they are about the recent release. Tell me one feature about it. It's really thin. It's slim, skinny, and it's expensive. It's really thin and fits in an envelope. It's a little too thin, you know? I like it skinny. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the multifunctional microcore, are you a DVI, VGA, or composite S video man? I would say DVI, mini DVI. What if this came out in purple? Would that sort of light you up, maybe? I love purple. Would you buy one? No, I would not. How come? Uh, because it has no Ethernet port or FireWire 800. I have no idea what the hell any of those things are. I'm going to Paris, like, tomorrow, and it'd be nice to take something that's not heavy. <laughs> if you had your pick, a fully loaded MacBook Air. Right. 3,000 items off the dollar menu. Uh, which dollar menu? We go now to a segment called Bad Links, where we gather up the strangest material on the web and redistribute it to you with an Indian guy. First up are Tenga's Onanism Cups. These cups offer five unique sexual sensations for men. The kit includes a deep throat cup, a soft tube cup, a rolling head cup, an air cushion cup, and a double hole cup. Order now and you'll also get the Kill Yourself Cup to use when someone walks in on you while you're using the double hole cup. Recently, Steve Jobs announced at Macworld that people don't read anymore. Hey Steve, how'd you find that out? Did you read it? Taiwanese scientists have genetically engineered glow-in-the-dark fluorescent green pigs. China claims that these are the best glow-in-the-dark pigs in the world, finally winning a competition no one knew they were having. 
And because we like to sign off on this segment with a clip that really sums up our love for gadgets as a whole, we give you five seconds of a robot humping. <laughs> If only my Roomba could hump like that. Anyway, that's all the time we have for you today. See you next week, where I will be quizzing you on the spelling of my last name. Here's a clue. It's 43 letters long and rhymes with nothing. Good night. <laughs> where are we starting from, word-wise? <laughs> Sorry. Personally, I liked this drug more when it was called cocaine, and monkeys were doing it off the backs of other whorish Malaysian monkeys. <laughs> I read the New York Times. I hear about things. Oh, Steve. Steve doesn't live in this world anymore. Did you... Did you read it? Steve? Did you? <laughs> oh, robot. When I'm doing that look in the camera, am I doing that right? Am I, should I change my face? Should I, am like. <laughs> All right, that's enough. No more freestyling. Anyway. <laughs> this is Circuit. <laughs> Word to your motherboard.